Welcome back to Elon Musk Viral. Tesla is the world's biggest electric vehicle manufacturer and most recently also a battery manufacturer. 4,680 type batteries, aside from its partnership with Panasonic in Nevada, probably is also one of the largest direct and indirect consumers of lithium. Potentially, it could be an outstanding move to jump into a new segment and dig deeper into vertical integration, basically from a particular element up to the final product. In this video, we are going to discuss Elon Musk just revealed insane new motor. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. The Plaid motor is based on the new technology that allows Tesla to build smaller, more powerful, and more efficient motors than ever. It's small enough to be picked up by a single human, but can deliver insane power and torque. At the construction of a Tesla electric drivetrain, which was designed around 100 years ago by Nikola, the four-door electric sedan goes from 0 to 60 in 1.99 seconds, which Musk says breaks the two-second barrier that no production car has ever been able to break. It produces 1,020 horsepower, has a speed of up to 200 miles per hour with the proper tires, and can complete a quarter mile in 9.23 seconds, according to Musk and the company's website. Tesla, the stator, and the rotor are the first two key components to pay attention to. The rotor is simply a collection of short-circuited conducting bars joined by the end rings. A three-phase AC power supply is provided to the stator. The three-phase AC and the coils produce a magnetic field. Tesla motors generate a four-pole magnetic field, the revolving magnetic field. The battery can travel 390 miles on a single charge, but Musk added the car can go 412 miles with the dual motor configuration. The Model S Plaid is a tri-motor setup. The improved charging speed gives drivers 187 miles of range in just 15 minutes. The electric car maker calls it the Model 3 motor and says it will be installed in their upcoming Model 3 all-electric vehicle. With peak torque of 1,500 Nm or 1,106 pound-feet, what Elon Musk refers to as the big gun can easily spin in a 1,000 kilogram or 2,200 pound car at 125 kilometers per hour or 77 miles per hour. A motor is kept spinning by the cycle of constantly switching north and south. AC electricity is the most efficient technique to transport usable energy across long distances from a generating source, such as a dam or windmill. This is because the AC signals alternating in nature allows the voltage to be readily stepped up or down to different levels. This is why your home's outlets are 120 volts AC, safe for human consumption, yet the voltage of a distribution transformer can be as high as 66 kVA or 66,000 volts AC. Fiber is wound over rotor at high tension load. The machine to do this was made by Tesla Automation. The carbon sleeve must put the copper rotor in compression where it loosens at low temp due to different thermal expansion. Preload is also helpful for maintaining the precise gap to the stator. Musk also expanded on the advantages of the new motor over its predecessors. Main advantage of this is a much stronger EM field compared with a rotor that is held together by metal, usually high strength steel. Another advantage is that rotor can go to higher RPM as carbon sleeve mostly stops copper rotor from expanding due to radical acceleration. Tesla motors can spin at rates ranging from 0 to 18,000 revolutions per minute or RPMs. The new heat pump that powers Plaid's HVAC system has a 30% better cold weather range and requires 50% less energy for cabin heating and freezing conditions, meaning little degradation in cold weather, said Musk. The software of the car is designed to learn from the driver's behavior, adapting to the driver's needs, so that if, say, you tend to back out of your driveway in a certain way, the car geocodes to that location and eventually does that action for you via the autopilot system. The battery pack provides electricity to the introduction motor. The source, however, must be converted to AC power before it can reach the motor because it generates DC power. This is when the inverter comes into play. The inversion not only converts DC to AC, but also changes the frequency of the AC power, allowing the motor speed to be regulated by altering the amplitude of the AC motor. Musk said the design makes it easy for us to scale. Just change out a little piece of hardware and boom, you've got a motor that can handle up to 7,000 RPM. The new motor is more robust and lighter than previous generations. 
It's an insane amount of acceleration. It makes for an enjoyable driving experience. Better power density also means that can fit more motors on Model 3 than any other vehicle, which means it's a lot more range without adding extra weight. On top of that, all of these improvements are achieved with only minimal increases in cost and complexity. Simply put, there isn't another electric vehicle out there with an engineering package that delivers anything close to what the Model 3 does. According to a Tesla engineer, the business has always included the whole battery in all of its vehicles. Batteries have a limited lifespan, and other automakers have agreed that if part of the cell fails, backups will be ready to replace them. The Audi e-tron, for example, features a 95.3 kWh battery pack. According to Tesla, the system is designed to function similarly to a petrol tank with reserve. It was less than a year ago that the International Energy Agency issued a report warning that to meet ambitious, potentially unrealistic goals being set for EV development by governments in the US and Europe, demand for lithium would rise by 4,000% by 2040, with demand for other minerals rising apace. Tesla informed Car and Driver that the new Model S would offer even faster charging, which is unsurprising. The current supercharger V3 offers a peak rate of 250 kW and is compatible with the Model S and Model X and select Model 3 variations. So either a V4 supercharger or a V3 upgrade will provide faster charging. According to Tesla, increasing motor efficiency by 8 to 10% will increase the range by 15 to 18%. Tesla also claims that its inverter is efficient to the tune of 96 to 97 percent. The inverter is about 99 percent efficient at its peak. Of course, when using a level 1 or 2 charger, there's still the issue of converting AC current to DC. Tesla didn't go into detail about that efficiency, which is also depending on your local electrical infrastructure, but it's significantly lower. The cars are connected to the network in both directions. By contrast, electric motors have only one moving part, an electromagnet or an induction device that pushes and pulls on a piece of metal to generate torque. This design makes them more compact than ices and way less likely to break down. And according to Musk, it also means that powertrains will last longer in electric cars. The fundamental unwritten goal with Tesla is to build a great car, not just some other electric vehicle, he said. This will be quite a big jump in technology. In one slide, Tesla compared a traditional ICE powertrain with an electric motor. The electric motor is only one moving part, while an ICE has more than 100. This means that while they're not designed to last forever, there are far fewer moving parts that can wear out or break in an EV than there are in a gas-powered car. As with any innovation, it may take some time for other automakers to catch up. Musk claimed that Tesla's new motor is arguably the most advanced motor on Earth, but he teased that the automaker is working on something even more powerful for the new Roadster. This is nine years since we delivered the first Model S, the first car produced here in Fremont, so almost a decade, and I think we've really taken it to a whole new level with Platt, said Musk to an audience of adoring fans. Some of you may know that our production plan is stolen from Spaceballs. We've gone plaid speed. So why make this really fast car that's crazy fast and everything? I think there's something that's quite important to the future of sustainable energy, which is that we've got to show that an electric car is the best car, hands down. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.